Minecraft 1.21 is almost complete, so much so that we probably only really have one round of features left. And believe it or not, we probably already know quite a couple of those features that are coming, because we actually have a pretty good idea of what to expect. And several of those features are crazier than you're probably thinking they are, so some of the things on this list are likely to surprise you. And without further ado, let's get into it. To kick things off, we're talking about the heavy core, but not in the way that you're thinking of. What exactly do I mean by that? Well, let's just say it's quite different from the mace. But first we need to establish what the heavy core really is. It's a heavy, hard, metallic, spherical object, at least for Minecraft terms. So of course it works as a mace when attached to a breeze rod. Especially because it has the unique property of pushing things away. Now what other hard, heavy, metallic, spherical objects are used to push things away? You might have guessed it. Cannonballs. Now I know that might sound far-fetched or crazy at first, but hear me out. 1.21 is an update all about combat and tinkering. And guess what just so happens to fit those two themes very well? Cannons, of course. Not to mention that a while back one of the Minecraft developers sort of joked that the industrial revolution of Minecraft had begun with the crafter. And cannons certainly fit in the industrial revolution. Now let's get into how these would actually work in game. I'd imagine that the heavy core would be fired from a dispenser, just like other projectiles. But what would make it unique is that it would actually collide with mobs. So say it hits a monster, then it keeps on moving, bringing that monster backwards with it, and then can hit even more monsters and bring them backwards too. Of course, since the heavy core is so rare right now, you'd probably be able to pick it up after it had dropped and use it again. And if you think this sounds like a big deal, just wait around till the end of the video. There are some important things that we're going to be talking about. But back to the subject of the heavy core. The developers mentioned on a recent video on the Minecraft YouTube channel that how players obtain the core is going to change, and that it will be a very interesting and rare challenge. So presumably even greater and rarer than the trials in the trial chambers. So as I've said before, they might have actually meant a boss fight with that, because I don't see what else they could have meant. But we're gonna move on from the heavy core now and onto the next subject, and it's something that I've seen almost no one talking about. But it feels like something that 1.21 really needs to and should have. What I'm talking about is a fire charge rework. This is because we got the wind charge that allows the player to shoot the same projectile that the breeze shoots. So naturally, shouldn't fire charges allow the player to shoot the same projectile that blazes shoot? So basically it would work like a fireball rather than just being a one-use flint and steel. Which would be such an improvement because fire charges really are pretty useless right now. And this is now actually a lot more likely to happen than it was before. Because of the addition of breeze rods. Mojang is clearly trying to make them basically just the same but different elements. And since breeze rods can be crafted into wind charges, maybe blaze rods will be able to be crafted into fire charges. That just makes a lot of sense. And it would certainly fit well within the combat theme of the update. And speaking of combat, let's move on to the next feature. And I won't talk about this one for too long because I've already talked about it a bit before and you've probably heard this one everywhere else. But we really need a combat overhaul in 1.21. The combat in Minecraft right now is in desperate need of improvement. Visually, it straight up just looks boring. And it could certainly use improvement in terms of functionality as well with new weapon stats. Like for example the mace having a shorter reach and higher knockback. Also adding weapon attack sounds certainly wouldn't hurt. I mean the mace already has a sound for the drop attack, why not go all the way and add sounds to every weapon? And that brings us right to the next subject. In my opinion, at least, the mace should have a 3D model. Mojang did it with the trident earlier because it made sense, and it makes even more sense now for the mace. Also, the mace does of course need enchantments. I don't think it needs that many. Maybe it could have most of the sword enchantments and then just one or two unique enchantments. Now we're done with that, so let's talk about the big stuff. There are several things that are basically a requirement for each Minecraft update at this point, because they've been in every Minecraft update for the past several years, like, for example, mobs. 
every update aside from Trails and Tales that kind of set a new low in this regard had three mobs or more, and then Trails and Tales released with only two. But basically we need at least two mobs in 1.21, and right now we have the Breeze, and then the Bogged, which is basically just another skeleton variant. So right now we really only have one new unique mob in Minecraft 1.21. I don't really count the Bogged as an entire new mob, and I know a lot of other people don't as well. So we could still use at least one, maybe two more mobs in 1.21. With Trails and Tales, we only got two mobs, both of those being revealed at Minecraft Live, and one of those being the mob vote winner. And so far, that's just about the case this year as well. Although the Armadillo is actually set to release in a different update. But also, another thing that we've had every single Minecraft update for the past several years now is a new biome or biome update. And that's not something that we necessarily need to have in 1.21, but it is something that would just feel weird to not have at this point. And also, we had a new enchantment for the past several Minecraft updates except for Trails and Tales again. That was another sort of new low that it set as an update. But we should definitely be getting at least one new enchantment this update, especially with the addition of the mace. Anyway, something else really important that I want to talk about here has to do with the vault. Or rather, its integration into other structures. So, say there was a special end city type of vault that could drop elytra, and you would need a key from the end city to open it. And then this could be the case for a bunch of other structures too, such as pillager outposts, nether fortresses, and woodland mansions. To wrap things up here, we're gonna more talk about the update's overall theme and what it should have for that theme. So far, 1.21 is a dungeon update. Basically, the entire update is the crafter and the trial chambers, and the trial chambers are basically dungeons 2.0. So if 1.21 is a dungeon update, what else does it need? Well, the answer seems obvious to me. A dungeon update needs new different types of dungeons to fight your way through, new mobs to fight, and new loot to find. And so far, 1.21 has some of that, just in a really small quantity. So I think that we need at least one more structure in 1.21. Some kind of new structure with other new types of mobs to fight and new loot to find. And the very last subject that I'm going to touch upon here is the update name. It's almost the end of March now, and we still don't have the update name for 1.21, which is pretty weird, but the good news is that means there's probably still more content on the way. And once we get that content, we'll probably get the name for 1.21 alongside it. But that's all I have to say for now. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We just passed 100 subs and I'm working on something to celebrate that. That should be out soon. I also have a very exciting video project in the works. So if you don't want to miss that, maybe keep an eye on the channel. Now's also a pretty exciting time for Minecraft 1.21. And if we get any big news with the snapshot this week, I'll make sure to keep you up to date. But now, goodbye.